Well, disappointingly, the trip to Zion is over. I'm now headed to my next hotel, which is in Page, Arizona, I think. Going to check out the Lower Antelope Canyon and uh, Horseshoe Bend. This is in, like, I think Lake Powell is what's really close to it, or it's in the same city. But uh, yeah, Zion, it was awesome, it was awesome. Wish I could have stayed another day or so and uh, checked out uh, some of the longer trails, but uh, I don't know. I don't think my legs would be feeling some of those <laughs> 8 to 10 mile uh, trails today. So we're taking it easy and uh, we're going to go check out some other stuff. So let's go. I arrived at Lower Antelope Canyon way too early. I knew I was going to get there about an hour early, but didn't realize the time had changed, and now I was two hours early. But that was okay, the weather was nice, and I had some emails to catch up on anyway. So I hung out and waited the extra two hours. So, I just left the Lower Antelope Canyon, headed back to my hotel to finally check in, and now I'm out to get something to eat. So I stopped by Big John's Barbecue. Uh, I pull in, there's, I mean, it only seemed like there's like seven or eight parking spots, not much at all. <clears throat> they were in an old gas station, which was kind of neat. Walk in, they, they had a lot of room for people, uh, so I don't know where people were parking if uh, that place was ever full or not. Uh, but yeah, walked in. Said, you know, told the lady I'd sit outside because it was such a nice day. Had picnic tables lined up. You could sit anywhere you want. Uh, it was kind of neat. Uh, they even had a stage set up for, looked like they had bands and stuff sometimes. But, uh, yeah. Had a platter with uh, some really slow cooked, fall off the bone ribs and a brisket sandwich. And, you know, some beans and potato salad. Uh, Overall, the place was excellent, and I would uh, totally eat there again uh, if I ever go back. Yeah, once I was done with that, headed back to my hotel, grabbed my other camera, and went out to take some sunset pictures. So, yeah, that's what's up next. One 
went over to Horseshoe Bend uh, to take the sunset pictures because I've heard and seen about it uh, on the internet. And I was like, man, I, I've got to check this place out. That was one of the main reasons that I even stopped there. Uh, yeah, I went there. I mean, it was only about a mile, mile and a half to the edge where you could actually see the Horseshoe Bend. Uh, looks like they were doing a bunch of construction, so, you know, probably by next year they're going to have a nice platform area where you can stand and, and watch uh, sunset or take pictures or whatever. But, uh, yeah, there was there was tons of people too, man. I was I was all crowded up there, you know, trying to squeeze in, get my tripod set up. I mean, there had to have been like another, you know, two dozen people just lined up around the edge and... Uh, it was it was pretty neat. Uh, I mean, the bugs, the bugs were t gnats were swarming. It, it was terrible. Uh, I'd almost rather go maybe a month or two earlier when it was cooler out. But uh, yeah, it was it was neat nonetheless. Uh, so yep, Horseshoe Bend was a great sunset experience. Uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, uh, and then up next uh, <clears throat> in the morning, I drive to Monument Valley. So. Uh, Stay tuned for the next video and uh, we'll check that out.